but the honest truth is that it's not every dog you see you feed because a lot of these dogs just want to gain strength to bite you they have a target they have a plan and you are the target you are the plan so it is high time you come to that point of knowing like the the the, the, the very obvious and clear difference between being kind and being caring To me, after that experience, it was a lesson learned and I promised myself it was never going to happen again. So at this point, I had to come to striking a balance between understanding and knowing what being kind and being caring is. And I'm sure, I'm pretty, pretty sure you're making such kind of mistakes, which you need to stop now before it becomes a huge problem for you in the future. Hey family, welcome back to my channel. It's the King's Bride, Nalo Ifoma, and thank you for stopping by. Just from the title, you saw what we're talking about today, being kind and being caring, knowing where to strike the balance, knowing what they really mean before you and knowing the mistakes you're rather doing the mistakes you're doing and how it's affecting you in a bad way and how you can easily correct it but before you scroll before you skip back past this video i promise it is going to be a video you will love to watch and listen to it so let's get right into it from the dictionary perspective being kind is just the act of being friendly generous and considerate of others but when you talk about being caring it's that act you know that display of kindness you show to other people going beyond your measure like taking an extra mile extra step in doing whatever it is you want to do for them or being involved in their lives and in their various activities so having you haven't seen the difference between being kind and being um caring let's just dive straight into what i wanted to share here you would save yourself a ton of heartbreaks a ton of uh, sorrows a ton of show of display a ton of this depression when you come to really striking the balance between these two and i'm going to share with us and i'm sharing with us or rather i'm going to share with us what it means to be kind and what it means to be caring say for example i run to you to your maybe to your house or to your inbox or wherever it is and i ask you for a financial favor um you know me you may know me you may not know me and i just come to you asking for financial favor and you just you give me the money I asked for, or you assisted me in, um, financially, and you went your way. That was just you being kind, you being considerate, you being generous. Now, it's whatever I do with the money, or whether or not I squander it, whether or not it solves my problem as I claimed, whether or not I finally come out of whatever it is I'm going through, it's really none of your business because you've just done your part of being kind, like being considerate, being generous, and um, being, being, being friendly being considerate being generous to this person that is what being kind is but what what and what's been caring is is for example i give you that thing and you you, you i come to your inbox or you come to my inbox and i give you a financial assistance and then i later come back to ask you oh were you able to solve the issue you were having or oh, were you able to treat a child oh how is the child doing how is the husband how is the business doing how is your health doing first of all i was being kind enough to have given you the money now, second of all, being the act of being caring, I now come, I now went extra mile to start asking maybe days after, weeks after, I started following you up to be sure that you're fine and to be sure that whatever it is you're going through, you probably have found found solution to it. That has been caring. We live in a generation today that if you are not careful enough, if you are not careful enough, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. And if you had someone earlier who took you by hands and guided you, you would have avoided some mistakes you did. Person, someone like me, growing up the first um, 20 years of my life was not very smooth and I wish, things I know now, I wish I knew them when I was 16. I wish I had someone who held my hands and guided me through. I wouldn't have made some of the mistakes I, I, I did today. Knowing where to strike a balance between being kind and being caring. Who are the people you should be kind to? Who are the people you should be both kind and caring showing that display of affection showing that display of kindness and caring who are the people you are supposed to be kind to and who are the people you are supposed to display care for the people you are supposed to display kindness to are just random persons they can be random people they can be just church members they can be your cosmate they can be your neighbors people who you don't really have close ties with people who you don't vibe with you don't have to vibe with me before you you, you be kind to me you can be kind to a total stranger someone you, you saw on the streets maybe drunk and stooling or vomiting you just help the person up and help them on their way maybe 
pick them out from the gutters you're just being a kind person and you go your way some of these people when you go ahead when you go on to start being caring maybe asking after them in their minds they think you're just trying to help them but in your mind you are attaching emotions you're attaching feelings you're attaching care that at the end of it all you feel these people belong to your life while in their own heart and their own mind you are just like a normal random person they met so at the end of it all if you come to the realization that these people took you as a normal person while you took them as someone very dear to your heart you are going to end up being heartbroken but if you only had a mind of just being kind to them you support them you help them in whichever way you could and you just went your way it would have saved you that ton of feeling bad and this time these same people whom you have shown kindness some people not everyone anyway this kind of people whom you have shown kindness can still go on and you can still go ahead and tarnish your image so if you had struck the balance of knowing where to you know where to limit yourself you wouldn't have had a lot of troubles to deal with now who are the people you are supposed to show care for first of all you have to start with your family members these are the people who have known you all your life people who have gone with you people who if anything happens to them is going to greatly affect you yes if anything bad happens to them it's going to greatly affect you so when you're careful when you be when you're kind to them you're being friendly generous considerate giving them what they want you go ahead to asking them how they are faring you go on to you know invest in your time invest in your energy Energy, to making sure that they get better they become a better version of themselves having it in mind that these same people exchange the same energy to you they exchange the same vibe to you I know that um, a lot of times sometimes anyway that some of those people who we think we really care for um, are not feeling the same vibes for us but there are few of these people who I am pretty sure that they are going to find it very difficult not caring not like not showing that care back to you your family members your husband or wife your your, your spouse your children um maybe your prayer partner maybe your life friend maybe people whom you know that over time time have tested your friendship time had tested your relationship with them your lifetime friends whom you know for like probably a very long time or maybe for a short time who had exchanged same energy with you who are on the same term with you these are kind of people you can go on you can go ahead dwelling so much in caring for them like i said earlier when i started this video you don't feed it's not every dog you see on the street to feed you know you don't feed every dog you see on the street because some of these dogs just they are just wanting they, they need strength so that they could come back and bite you i may not have you know really coordinated these points to bring them out professionally to you but i'm sincerely speaking to you from the depth of my heart this way it's going to help you just know where to stop to know your limitations your boundaries things you're supposed to do why so that you could be able to you can maintain your sanity your mental sanity is very important your spiritual sanity is very important and time wasted most times are not regained why did i even make this video why i made this video was because i used to be a victim of this i was a victim of this not quite long that it was of recent not so long before now that prior to now that i was able to come to striking balance on who i should be kind to and who i should take an extra mile of being caring to by the message of god i try my best to be kind to as many as i can you know people random people i've not met before slide into your inbox random people you meet on the streets random people you don't even like or something you just get yourself you just get to see yourself being kind to them because you are a child of god and you know humanity is expected of you to help one another but people i take my time i invest my time um to go in extra mile of being um caring to them are people who had really who worth it are people whom time and periods and experiences and life and faith had made them be deserving of that 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 extra hand of being caring so you need to be very careful out there while you're being kind and while you're being caring so that you can know um, to be able to differentiate between being kind and being caring and also to know who to show kindness to and who to show both kindness and care to so with this I come to the end of today's video next time you have to be more careful and know who to show kindness to and who to show both kindness and care so that at the end of it all you won't get your fingers burnt you won't get your fingers beaten by the wrong persons so family i hope to see you in my next video see you next time i'm still not leaving the king's pride and please be kind but know who to show kindness to be caring and also know who to be caring to i'm going to see you next time Bye bye
I'll say cut a lot of things. On a flabby. She says flowy. Blue pass. We. How can you take us blue pass, Abby? But it's for. But I'm, I'm, I'm really serious. You people have to like be careful whom you are being kind and caring to. Hey. Ah. Okay. How do I conclude? I think I've made my points clear. Abby. We live in a world that everyone is quiet. I don't know, but how is there no need? Okay. Oto go go no go. Trump go to go no go too much. Mm -hmm. So family, can you let me know in the comment section below if you could relate to this and if you had found yourself in a situation where you went and showed both kindness and care to the wrong set of people and um, maybe you, you you used to be or you are in the current situation where you don't understand where to strike the balance between being kind and being caring. Do let me know in the comment section below.